shall we start uh, yes yeah so previously i mean in the previous session only we have discussed about the uh, one uh, phase that is project preparation phase today we are going to discuss about the business blueprint i mean what are the activities that are there in the business blueprint so i will give you the detailed overview of the business blueprint okay so the first point is i want to mention as a sap fsu consultant so we involve uh, from the business blueprint phase onwards okay so we will not be involved from the project preparation i mean in the project preparation some of the heads will be involved like uh, uh, what we say technical heads will be there and also uh, delivery heads will be there and project management heads heads will be there okay so we will not be involved from the project preparation we will be involved from the business blueprint phase as a sap fso consultant we are going to involve from the business blueprint phase see here business blueprint phase is most critical phase you have to understand so why because the success of the project i'm again uh, mention the success of the project is totally depending on the how accurate we gather the requirements from the core user what is the core user here in the i mean client will send you the core users only from the client only they will send some of the persons who are involved in the implementation project in blueprint phase okay we prepare two documents what is the two documents the requiring gathering document will be there okay and also to be document will be there the requirement gathering we can call it as as is document and to be document means how we map those information into the sap system that means how so we will gather some of the information from the core users right client core users then we need to map those information into the sap only so to uh, to map those information into the sap okay we need to have some consultants like fico consultant will be there mm consultant will be there sd consultants will be there okay and pp consultants and also uh, quality management consultants will be there and hr consultants will be there so hr consultants will not be involved in this uh, blueprint why because uh, so they don't have any activities to do first of all so uh, most of the uh, some of the consultants would involve in this uh, uh, blueprint phase only see here in the uh, documents also we will have gap analysis so first we need to ana uh, analyze the gap analysis what do you mean by gap analysis in the, generally uh, the first day of client so we will have introduction with the core users right and after that core users will take us to site in, site visit from second day onwards so uh, the requirement gathering will start every day consultant has to go to the core user place only i mean client place only and ask the questions and whatever the core users will explain we have to note it down in the excel sheet as a as it is so every day after completion of requirement gathering okay so consultant has to prepare the document which is called it as uh, as this document only okay so the requirement gathering will be in a two documents one is as it as is document and then next one is to be document see here what is as is document this as is document mainly consists the present business process of client okay some of the clients will use the different uh, what we say uh, will use the tally and oracle and um, anything uh, um, uh, adverts jd adverts like that okay so we are gathering the information from the client and we are mapping whatever the core user explain it so we have to mention in this document that is as is document based on the questionnaires what are those questionnaires as is document we will have the questionnaires right so based on the questionnaires only we will going to uh, i mean these questionnaires uh, that will be provided by the implement partner okay so that is we gather the requirement from the core user what is to be document here so to be document means how we are mapping those information into the sap system i have already told you this business blueprint document after the requirement gathering so we will have the sign off that means business blueprint sign off after completion of requirement gathering we need to prepare blueprint document okay so document consists of as is run to be document 
while preparing to be document we may find some gap analysis in your interview only they will going to ask you some of the questions like gap analysis so have you involved in the gap analysis yes if you have involved in the gap analysis so you you have to tell the answer otherwise ignore it so i have not involved in the gap analysis uh, so you should like uh, you should say like this okay so i will give you the clear information of the gap analysis see here we have client business process right and if there is no solution in standard sap that means i will give you a basic example so we are uh, gathering ap information accounts payables information okay so they will tell you in a different way and that system is not there i mean that solution is not there in sap okay then what we will do we call it as a gap whenever we find gap we will prepare gap analysis document okay i mean uh, client will say like this so we have to have these informations like that so if if the customer is there and the customer is also a vendor so that in that means if we don't have the solution for the sap so we need to sit up with the client and we need to analysis the uh, gap analysis and also we need to prepare the gap document then only it will be possible to map the sap so with the technical consultants and also basis consultants that is very important when they uh, ask different questions on the gap you need to prepare for that one okay see here this gap analysis mainly consists clear description mm -hmm. of uh, client process which is a gap in sap also find alternative solution okay so after preparing business blueprint document we will send this document to core user for sign off right so now core user has to check and go through the business blueprint document if everything is fine they will send the confirmation mail uh, to the consultants okay so this is very important yeah we have uh, agree with uh, sorry we are agreed with the uh, i mean business blueprint we can call it as a gap analysis okay so if everything is fine they will send a confirmation to the client uh, consultants so after getting consultation uh, sorry confirmation mail we take the signature of a core user and also project management in sign a form and one copy will be with the implementation partner okay that is pm partners our co company partners only then one copy will be submitted to the client whoever is implementing then without sign off we are not supposed to move next phase of sap methodology without sign off we are not supposed to move next phase of sap methodology see here this is about the blueprint after receiving blueprint sign off okay core user then we move to the next phase of sap methodology that is realization okay so this is very important they will ask you some of the question what is the question what is the process in the blueprint discussion i mean interview only they will uh, uh, ask you what is your process okay in the blueprint discussion so what you have to tell in this phase we join in the business blueprint discussion okay then in in that our role what is our role financial role financial consultant role is roles and responsibilities are we saying that what our works we do in the phase in sap we fill, uh, fulfill this requirement actually we told uh, these are types of configurations i mean baseline configurations will be there final configurations will be there okay we doing as per your business and also uh, showing any other company data to knowing purpose your current client and also we can configure this field so like this you have to tell okay so based on the uh, uh, information and all we will prepare the business blueprint document that is as is to be document and if any gap analysis is there means verify the as is and to be document okay if it is not possible anything so in this document mention in the end of the business blueprint document only okay so this is about the blueprint then when it comes to the realization we will do the uh, what we say uh, baseline configurations and also final configurations so in the next class only i will going to discuss about the baseline configurations and final configurations or how we can do what are the master data that are there in the baseline configurations and also uh, final configurations so i mean next class only we are going to discuss about that one okay and uh, today class we are going to discuss about the asset asset accounting complete configurations 
OK, so I'm going to stop this recording. That is blueprint recording. OK. Go to the. Yeah, you can just stop the recording. Bala.